Hi everyone. So today I'm going to look at Tara May mirror, mirror. Mm -hmm. um, their rose hip and green tea nourishing mask. So what you do is you use their little spatula and thank you for the spatula, right? So that I'm not reaching my fingers into things and apply that mask. Um, it is the world's like tiniest little spatula. And I don't really smell that much. Um, <laughs> so I do kind of like a plastic spatula um, just because it allows you to kind of spread out that product without it kind of ending up in the brush hairs. So I've applied my mask, um, so I'm going to leave it on for 15 minutes. I'm going to pop uh, my little stone massager uh, into the freezer for about five minutes. Let's be honest, it's probably going to be in there for 15 um, and whatnot. Um, and that, um, but... Like, I thought it would smell like rose or green tea, but there's not really any smell to it. Maybe, like, that, like, unscented cream smell and that, and I look like I have, like, a little half green mustache on my face. So I'm not sure, like, how much to kind of, like, put on and that everywhere, but I feel like it's on my face, so I don't need, I just need to smooth that out don't want a green mustache um but like definitely like their little spatula is maybe a little too little but at least you can scoop it out put it on your face right without putting your dirty hands into the container so i do appreciate that definitely like check out some of those korean beauty stores for like the little spatulas because they'll have them for pretty cheap and like it saves you in the long run of not like dipping your dirty fingers into some things or using kind of like a brush where a product's going to get in there. So I will be right back. So it's been about 15 minutes. <laughs> this feels cold in my hand. So I'm really quite nervous if you couldn't tell by my higher optic level. <sighs> I'm just preparing myself for because I'm the world's biggest baby. Like Oh, it's gonna be so cold. Okay. All in the name of beauty. So that initial like putting it on, but definitely like keep rubbing it. <laughs> Makes it a little bit better. Like circular motions. Hey dog. Come here. Puppy? You're having none of it. You're just going to cling, cling, rattle, bing, bang. You make your noise all day. Definitely as you start to go, it does warm up. I guess I have a hot face. I'm just surprised by like what a thin layer I put on and how like it just kind of glides over my face. So I did get this product in my FabFitFun. So I definitely think like FabFitFun, if you're like a shopaholic, FabFitFun is really kind of worthwhile because I definitely have saved on things that I wanted to get and them just being like cheaper, right? So kind of getting something with a like beauty tool like this, right, would cost just as much. So I think I paid like $19, right, where it's like, oh, I don't know. But I thought this was something kind of cool. 
go along so I definitely like the fact that I'm, I'm liking this mask so far just because I find this really soothing <laughs> right you get to see how like fat my face is and how things move but it's okay hopefully this is firming things up like uh back in those like, I'm going to be, like, back in the olden days where they had those machines that, like, just shaked. And people thought you'd lose weight from those. I think the same thing's going to happen to my face. Just shake it. Look, push it up. The fat can just go into my cheekbones. <laughs> I definitely think it brings you some excess product that you can kind of bring down. So I just feel like nice and relaxed, right? Of my little Buddha belly. Bring me good luck. Bring me good skin. So I'm going to wash this off and hopefully it helps my skin because I just feel it's been like dry lately. Like my skin just hasn't been cooperative. But then I've been like testing makeup. So I've been like kind of cleaning it off more. So I haven't helped it. Nature hasn't helped it. So hopefully this mask does. The wash of my face, it wasn't too hard to remove. I think my skin does feel nice and soft to me. It looks hydrated and that. So I'm supposed to finish this by putting on a night cream. I have an Estee Lauder uh, eye night cream. And I'm gonna start with a little so I think I got this in like a sample of something and I really do like their night repair serum. And this feels like a nice thick eye mask and like for something that's been around for so long, I definitely trust that their products have to work. Otherwise, why are people buying this and allowing these brands to exist if they're not that good? <laughs> And then they have their advanced age night repair, advanced night little gold camp. So I get a lot of these in my beauty boutique, little sample packs and just like samples other places. So you can definitely shop smart and really get a good bang for your buck. And then I'm just going to kind of finish with the oils of life sleeping cream. And this is from body shop. And it does just have like a nice spa smell. I feel so I think just just take time to do your skincare. It's just really I just find it nice and relaxing it gets you ready for bed to kind of just do that mask so don't forget about your neck so I'm gonna try hemp and co so this is like a line lifting face I'm gonna try that on my neck because like so on FabFitFun they had on their add-ons like a neck cream but I have to also pay for my yearly subscription so I was like, um, I don't really have enough money to go through everything. So I'm just going to use the products that I have for that one. Whew. So I, I'm just going to kind of try a neck cream just because I noticed like fat lines in my neck. So I just want to get those gone because I feel like we just forget about our neck. And like you just do like ugly little faces. <laughs> but I think... The next, like, a really important one to kind of look after. And that, so overall, I think this, if this came in Fun again, I would 
purchase it. Um, I don't think I would spend really more than like $30 on it. Um, just because I think there are kind of moisturizing masks kind of out there. Um, I do think the tool would maybe put like an extra like I would pay kind of 20 bucks for this little tool. So I'd pay about 20 bucks for this tool. So if it came as like a little set, I would kind of pay about $50 would be my top end of it. Because after that, I'd be like, yeah, there's other things out there. But I definitely think the tool is really worthwhile. And um, i just trying to find a mirror. Like I do think my pores look smaller. Uh, and of like some redness on my face did kind of go away. Uh, so thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you have a wonderful night's sleep and I will see you guys all next time. Bye.